November 11th, Remembrance Day, the day we pledge to remember to not forget. At cenotaphs all over the country, we gather to remember those who lost their lives in two world wars. And although he survived both conflicts, and thus his name doesn't appear on the cenotaph, today we remember a thrice-decorated local war hero. John Jock McGregor was born near Nairn, Scotland in 1889 and emigrated to Canada at the age of 20. Upon hearing of the outbreak of the First World War, McGregor joined the Canadian Army as a private and was sent to France with the 2nd Canadian Mounted Rifles as part of the Canadian Expeditionary Force. He was awarded the Distinguished Conduct Medal after leading the Canadian attack on Vimy Ridge in 1917. In 1918, he received the Military Cross and Bar, and later the Victoria Cross, for extreme bravery and leadership at Cambrai, France, during the Battle of the Canal du Nord. During some very heavy combat, and despite being wounded himself, he single-handedly put a series of German machine guns out of action and took eight prisoners. He and his company then captured the village of Nouvelle saint rémy which was a significant contribution to the wider offensive. After the war, he made his way to Powell River, BC, where he worked at a variety of trades. At the outbreak of the Second World War, McGregor, now aged 51, again enlisted in the Canadian Army and was made a major in the 2nd Battalion of the Canadian Scottish Regiment. He was later promoted to Lieutenant Colonel and given command of a training camp in Wainwright, Alberta. McGregor passed from this world in Powell River in 1952. He is immortalized with a local street name, and the City Hall building is named for him. A photo and plaque adorn the lobby. And on this day, Canadian Rangers from the 4th Canadian Ranger Patrol Group, Powell River Patrol, lay a wreath in your remembrance.